We're going to do some of the uh, landmarks on the skull now, and we're going to start with the alveolus. And uh, you can see we have on loan from Andre the Giant's family his uh, mandible, and we're going to be able to see an alveolus in here. So an alveolus is a depression into which the tooth fits. He had some loose teeth, probably all that wrestling. So this is an alveolus here, a depression uh, that the tooth fits into, and that would be in the mandible. Uh, the Maxillary bones also have alveoli. Put his tooth back. When we return him, he's supposed to get out of all the parts. And so here you can see this is a maxillary bone. This is a left maxillary bone. And you can see these depressions. Each one of those is an alveolus. Okay, we have the body. And the body refers to the mandible. We get Andre's mandible out of the way here. So this is the body of the mandible. And then we have the condyloid process. And the condyloid process is supposed to look like a condyle. So that would be right here. Condyloid process of the mandible, it's going to articulate with a temporal bone at the mandibular fossa. Then we have the coronal suture. Now coronal suture, I'm going to show you on the colored skull. <clears throat> coronal suture is in what plane? Anybody want to guess? Coronal. Oh. Yep, that's right. So there's the coronal suture. Coronal suture separates the frontal from the two parietal bones. And if we look here, you can see the coronal suture. This is the white skull. That would be what would be on your uh, lab practical. Next we have the coronoid process. And the coronoid process, back to the mandible. Uh, <clears throat> that was uh, a movie. Anyway, this is the uh, coronoid process. It's supposed to resemble a crown. I think it actually resembles a shark's tooth more than a crown, but uh, they didn't ask me. Cribriform plate. Cribriform plate is part of the ethmoid bone. It's on either side of this um, piece that sticks up here, the crystagalli. So when I make the analogy, uh, this is a little bit like the, a sailboat. And the sail would be the, the crystagalli, and the cribriform plate would be the deck of the sailboat. We can also see that on here. We'll finish this one up and then we'll take a break. So here's a cribriform plate. This is an ethmoid bone. Cribriform plate on either side of the crystal galley.